Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new on this channel, my name is Zimasa. Um, today I'm joined by Yolanda Fani. Um, so if you are a returning subscriber, just don't want to forget my people. Thank you so much for coming back and always having our, our back and having faith in us. So today I'm actually joined by Yolanda Fani. So we'll be talking about wills. Um, so South Africa will be hosting a wills week that is on the 16th, from the 13th of September until the 16th of September 2021. So they'll actually be hosting a Wolves Week. That is, um, during this week, you can actually go to any participating attorney mm -hmm. and you can ask them to help you with drafting a will. So there are actually some things that actually come with not drafting a will and that actually comes with drafting a will. So Yolanda, she works at she works for one of the large entities in South Africa, that is for one of the big banks in South Africa. And she actually works um, for the department uh, where you can actually, where it actually helps with winding up your estate. I just want to start saying big names that people won't understand. So she okay. actually works in a department. She works for a department where um, they wind up your estate to Zabantu. Yeah. So hi, Yolanda. How hi, are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad to be here, Zim. Thank you so much for having us. So Yolanda, she will actually give us a brief brief introduction of what she does and where she actually started i feel like it's very important that she actually tells us where she started because <laughs> that's where we <laughs> that's where we it's so hi important. yolanda hi yes so i'm yolanda fani an admitted attorney i am not a practicing attorney i'm in corporate i'm working for um, one of the top banks as zimasa said I studied at UNISA, that's where we met myself and Uzianda, I mean Uzimasa. And Uzianda, and Uzianda. <laughs> now people know Uzianda, if you watch my previous yeah, video, yeah. you will know who Uzianda is because I did mention that Uzianda is an attorney yeah. who can actually help you with actually drafting so everything that you want to do, yeah. like selling, your, if you want to buy property, if you want to get married, Uziana will actually be helping you with that. So Uziana, she actually, Uziana is always in my videos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where the three of us met, yes, at Janissa, and um, I did my articles, and today I am an admitted attorney. Okay. So, um... So what we do um, at work, we um, wind up deceased estates um, where an executor will be appointed to, you know, to do such work and to distribute uh, the estate um, according to the deceased wishes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So uh, I know there is someone who's actually at home asking themselves, what is a will? Mm. Because some people only say that you need to have a will. They don't even understand what that is because people think that a will is for like it's just for rich people. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they believe that no, I just have my two hundred friends in my account. Yeah, and that I can't is have correct. Yeah. So actually, a will is a document. Um, it is a drafted document with the assistance of a professional. Mm -hmm. So in mm -hmm. this is a document where you actually list down or you actually write how you want your estate to be administered in the event you are no more okay so in this document the document should be drafted by can be drafted by anyone who's 16 years old and above it should be witnessed by two people who are at least of the age of 14 years and above and um and also those two witnesses they cannot be beneficiaries, otherwise yes. they will not inherit. Yes. Yeah. So your child, if you want your child yeah. to inherit from the will, uh -huh. unfortunately, your child should not be witness mm -hmm. because that child stands chances of not inheriting from your will. Yeah. So you can actually ask someone. Let's say, because um, I've heard that if you work, okay, if you ask an attorney to draft that will, so two people from the office can actually witness, witness. that will, yeah. or you can ask anyone from your family. But it's not advisable to ask someone from your family to come. If that to, person to will, witness. yes, if that person be will be a beneficiary. Yeah, that is okay. So, um, I just want to, like, we are landing there. I'll just, I, I just want to know mm. why do we need a will? Mm, mm, like, because mm. people think that 
like like I said, some people think that they don't need a will. So why do we need a will? What helps with having a will that is in the event that I'm not there anymore? Like, does it make life easier for my family to know what to do with my estate or the assets that I have? So like, what 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 what, what are the benefits of having a will? Just just like a small okay. yeah it's very really important you know to have a will because if you don't have a will then your estate will be you know distributed um, according to the interstate succession act okay. and someone who you do not want to inherit will inherit okay. yeah so at least when you have a will valid will um, your your assets will go to those beneficiaries that you want to inherit. Okay. Yeah. So That's things correct. like so if if I have kids, okay. So there is a situation. Mm. Um, touching on yeah. people I want to to benefit from my things. Mm. So this lady, she was actually raising her brother's kids. Her brother who is no more. Yeah. So the brother had passed away. So she took her brother's kids and she decided to raise them. Mm. So she did not have a will. Okay, let me so it wasn't her brother's like an extended brother, like basically. Okay. okay. So So now what happens is that she passes away, she does not have a will. Mm. She lives behind her sister that she she's not even in speaking terms with anymore. Yeah, yeah. So now um there is no will. Mm. So she was actually uh, like, okay, so she passes away. So now she had thought that when she passes away, those kids would actually benefit. Mm, mm, mm. Remember those, now she has her sister. Yeah. So in a situation like that, because it's someone from the family, like a family member was actually asking. So now the sister, will she be benefiting in terms of the, the interstate succession from her sister's estate or will it be the kids that she was raising? Um, but it's not her kids. The it's not her kids. Yes. So it's someone's yeah, kids, like an extended family yeah. member. Because the Interstate Succession Act, it guides the executor, mm. the person that will be winding up the estate. Mm. It guides you, um, like, who must inherit if there's no children, if there's no spouse, then from spouse to children. If there's no children, then to, I think, the parents mm, of the no deceased parents, person, no parents. Of your siblings. Yeah, you see? So, so in that situation, unfortunately, you, yeah. unfortunately, the yeah. sister that she was not in speaking terms with mm. will inherit, mm. and the kids will be left with nothing, mm. because mm. those kids were not yeah. adopted yeah. Yeah. in terms of the yeah. law. So yeah. they were just adopted, like, oh, okay, just by word. There was no legal document saying that yeah. these kids have been adopted by Uzimasa mm -hmm. and so now the sister will actually be inheriting yeah. everything yeah. even though yeah. they were not in speaking terms. Correct. And those things happen in Yolanda where and then and then now mama will be inheriting everything exactly from you understand mm -hmm. millions yeah. anyway. and then that's where also there will be disputes now there will be families. disputes families yes you know, there's, yes there's that tension and you know it's and not nice dealing with that yes and then the other nice. person will be like this was yeah. my child yeah. And then the other one will be like, but I was supporting this black person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even this one, Jim, you don't talk. You understand? But anyway, mm -hmm. just moving forward, just mm -hmm. not to waste time. Mm -hmm. So I just want to know. Um, so I want to draft a will. Mm -hmm. I don't have a will. Can I just approach a lawyer to draft mm -hmm. a will? I don't have a will. Can I just approach a lawyer? Or a bank just go to the bank and then say I want to draft a will. Like what is the procedure? Like mm -hmm. what is the process? What would you advise someone who wants to draft a will? Yeah, yeah. Well, you have options. Um, an attorney. Mm -hmm. If you don't have an attorney, Google attorneys who can assist you in drafting a will. Okay. And then also financial institutions such as banks. Okay. Um, most of them they have that facility. You know, wills department where they'll be okay. able to assist you. And you can also do it telephonically, like oh, with okay. yeah, okay. banks, you call the walls department and it happens telephonically. Okay. But if you obviously want to um, do it face to face, um, you go to a bank and um, ask to speak to a financial advisor. And I mean, 
um, a financial advisor can do more than just assisting you with that will, but mm. can also advise you to you know um, to 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 plan your estate. Okay. You know, um, yeah. There's just so much more. It's just up to you to um, go to the firm, go to the bank, okay. and ask them to assist you with drafting your will, and they they will advise you with so much more. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I just want to ask something now. How much should I have? with me if i want mm. to go draft a will like going to an attorney or going to the bank i don't know whether you'll be able to uh, to answer this because mm. i want to believe it now depends or differs with where you're actually drafting your will so okay, yeah. should i have go with my one rent and then ask them to draft mm. the will for me so how does it what are the costs of actually oh, drafting your will? okay um firstly like you mentioned that um, this week coming, it will be for free. So okay. what you're saying is <laughs> grab so that opportunity. Grab that opportunity. <laughs> don't don't sit back and relax. Grab it with both hands. Okay. Um, I I can't say how much an attorney will charge, but they charge according to the the, the, the court's tariff. Okay. Um, when it comes to drafting documents. Yeah, for clients, okay. and then also the bank, they have their own, you know, cost. So yeah, so it differs, but it's it, it, it won't be a price that um, you cannot afford. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yes. it won't be something that's expensive. Yes. I mean, at the end of the day, it will help you mm -hmm. and help your loved ones. Yeah, in the event, in the event, event not, you, yeah. not to make things difficult yeah, for them, yes, because yo, guys, it's such a struggle yeah, when you don't have a bill. And then I think we have seen it, like more especially mm. with our black communities, where a person passes away and there is no will. Yeah. The person has been postponing making the will until they know more. Now kids are left with this frustration as to what are we going to do with the estate? Not yeah. even kids, someone who did not have a family, like who did not have like kids. Now the family is left with asking, what what do we do with this person's yeah. estate? The time we had been postponing, guys, there's a free wills week. Yeah. Like where you can draft a will for free. There's a wills week where you can draft a will. Don't postpone. Just go and draft that will. Do it. Just okay. Do it. So I just want to know also, um, can I can a person who's married in community of property mm. draft a will? Like can they have a will separate from their partners? Because you know when you're married in community of property what's yours is mine and what's mine is yours yeah. so can i have a will now and how does it work because um i believe that when someone is married in community of property mm. they will in the event that they know more the other party will take their 50 percent, and then there's a 50 percent that will actually be remaining so i want to know can i actually draft in a will that this is how i want my 50 percent to be administered yeah. or like how like how does it work can i have a will just to cut the Question yeah, can I have a will if I'm married in community of property? You can, yeah, you can have a will, and obviously, um, there will be a clause that deals with how you want your um, your 50%. assets to be distributed. Okay. Yeah. Um, also, there are instances where um, couples will have couples married in community mm -hmm. property will have like a joint will, um, mm -hmm. stating that. Um, everything the, the the estate the joint estate will go to the survivor of us oh you understand okay, yeah okay. and then if you don't want your survivor to get your 50 percent, then you can you can you can stipulate that in your will that your 50 percent you want your children to okay. inherit it okay. yeah so will that will be Okay, so the joint will we can I can actually draft it with my partner, mm. and then a separate will I can have a separate will, um, where I can actually say okay, this is how I want my fifty percent to be administered. So you're saying that you're speaking of two different wills now. Okay, there's going to okay. be a joint will, okay. and then also you're saying that um, there's no joint will, but you will draft your own oh, will. So yes. you can't you so, can't have a joint yeah, will and, and then, then have like, a will where you say this is how I want to. Okay. Yeah, because if you have a joint will and then later you have you you you, you draft a new will, then the, the updated one, the new one will will be invalid. It, no 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 the new one will oh, keep will keep out the, the, the joint will yeah, oh, okay one. yeah okay so if i had a joint will with, mm, with my yeah. husband mm. saying this is how we want both our estates to be administered mm, mm. and then later on let me say two years down the line mm. i decide that i want to have a, an individual will mm. so that joint will will be invalid 
the joint one. The yeah, joint that is correct. Oh, because okay, now okay. you have a new one, a an new updated one. one. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. So if you are married in community of property, you can have like your separate will from your husband, or you can actually decide with your husband that you, you will have, have a joint will mm -hmm. where you actually have a, like. Um, where you actually say this is how you want your your, your, your joint estate joint, to, joint be, estate to yeah. be administered okay, yeah. in the event that you know more the yeah. both of you so does a will actually expire because people think that like if i draft a will today i still have 50 years to leave mm -hmm. i'm sure when i'm not there anymore that will will have expired right. so does does a will expire no, it doesn't expire but um what we advise people to do, you know, um, to always update your will. Should there be a change in your life, let's say you get married, you get divorced, um, you have a child, a business, mm -hmm. update your will, update your will. Okay. Yeah. You so you update your will yeah. based on the changes the change in your life. If you get life. married yeah. or if you get divorced, child. then you need to actually update your update will. Update your will. So that yeah. is yeah, okay, yeah. I understand. So um one other question that I want to know mm. if you have let, let's say I have a will, okay. but I want my will to be kept safe. Mm. What can I do? Can a bank keep my will or an attorney? Can they keep my will? Um, yeah, they do have okay. um, safes to, to 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 keep original wills. Okay. Yeah. Um, the bank has a safekeeping or storage cost. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then with the attorneys, they can also keep it. I'm not sure like how the cost. How it works. Yeah. Okay. How yeah how they charge the clients regarding that. Okay. But yeah, attorneys, banks, they can keep the original. Or you can keep the original, but just make sure that you keep it um, in a safe place and mm -hmm. inform. It's very good to inform someone close to you, okay. a close family member about this will. So that if anything happens when you die, then the person will know where to look. Okay. And um, yeah, because the will obviously will also um, inform the person uh, who the executor must be or where the person drafted the will so okay. that they'll know who to contact. All yeah, right. no problem. Correct. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, since you said um, I need to inform people that I have a will, we know um, we have had cases where people have actually, a beneficiary, beneficiaries um, actually plan to kill yeah. or whatever, to murder or to like the 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 testator mm. because they've seen that they, they will be benefiting so can a person go to 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 wherever that is to the bank or mm. to to an attorney and say you know what Uzmasa was my child i need to have access to her will because she told me that um she has a will that time Uzmasa is still alive yeah. so is it possible to actually go to a bank or to an attorney and say that Uzumasa is my child and I need to see her will mm -hmm. I need to see what she has actually written down on her no, will no, 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 that's confidential information okay yeah, no attorney or bank will allow a third party okay. to obtain that will okay to find out what's going on in that will you know, mm -hmm. um, no, nah, it won't happen so Yolanda, yes um now the person has told us okay. in November they have a will. Um, okay, the person had told us because now we're actually talking about someone who's not there anymore. Okay. Yes. So, um, what do we need to bring mm, mm, if we now want to have access to that will? Mm, mm, so, what do we need? Like, he, like when you report the yes, when of he, the yes. Person. What do we need to yeah. bring? Um, a you know proof such as the death certificate okay. um it should be sufficient mm -hmm. you know just to make the person know the the, the 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 attorney um the person who's assisting you at the bank okay let the person know that okay the person has now died okay yeah okay and, and provide them with the proof such as a death certificate yeah okay and also e is it is it correct to say that the person also needs to i don't know whether you deal with this 
um, that the person they need to bring a letter from the undertaker. Yeah, yeah. That the person yeah, is no yeah, more. Okay. Yeah. If they also don't that, have the death certificate. Yeah, okay. yeah, that is correct. Because I think in home affairs, um, it, it, I hear the key quick. Yes. Lando, you for mana death certificate. Yeah. So maybe there is a you know hold somewhere okay. or DA somewhere. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So also, um, what other provisions can a person have mm. in a will? Because yes, you can actually say this is how I want my estate to be administered. My wife should get um, my estate in the event that I'm not there or my okay. mom should get. So mm -hmm. what other provisions? Because I want to believe that is just not enough because yeah. let's say now your mom is not there. Then who's actually going to take over? Like what other provisions do you think? Um, what other provisions should a person have? Can yeah. a person have? So, so, you, so we spoke about the clause or provision that deals with the distribution of the estate. Mm -hmm. So, so besides that, mm -hmm. um, what are the clauses? So, a will that is valid, mm -hmm. um, drafted by a professional, would normally have um, a clause where the executor, a competent executor, mm -hmm. um, must be nominated and also a competent uh, trustee must be nominated okay. and let's say you have a minor child so a guardian for that minor you can okay. have that provision as well and yeah i think that's that's basically it yeah okay yeah. so that is in, in uh, when when you say a guardian for a minor because now yeah, I'm actually yeah. thinking of it because I have a child and I'm actually yes, thinking to myself, yes, yes, hey, yes. should I not be there anymore because now life happens, not that mm -hmm. it's going to happen, but life happens where I have a valid rule where I say my child will actually inherit everything. Mm -hmm. Now she's not 18 years old yet. So do you mean that I can actually have a clause where I say my sister or my mom yeah, or my dad yeah. can actually help with um, administering this Take care taking of care of my child, child. Yes, oh, okay. that is correct. oh okay that is correct right. and also you can have um, just thought of this now a clause for um, protecting your assets mm. yeah so can I please ask something um, you know um, you you are still a new graduate mm. you just graduated you have your first car you're working yeah. if i don't have or let me say i don't even have a car can i draft a will because I, i'm just working i'm staying in a flat mm -mm. Is, yeah you can draft a will if you have even if you have a car only you'll you can mm -hmm. draft your will i mean you will acquire or obtain other assets you as, know, you, as, as you, you grow, as you grow. Okay. You, so it doesn't mean career. that okay so it yeah. doesn't mean that because now mm. i i am like it's just me I'm, i don't have a child, child yeah and i can't have a will so you mm. should draft a will just draft your will yeah, yeah so so in the event that anything happens let's say your mom is not the yeah, because yeah. if you are not okay i think i should just mm -hmm. say this if you are not married mm -hmm. you don't have children mm -hmm. and you are not there anymore then your parents will actually take over yeah. your assets and if your parents are not there anymore to take over then your sisters your will siblings. do so your siblings yeah. will take over mm -hmm. if your siblings are not there anymore then the children of your siblings mm -hmm. will actually mm -hmm. take over that is what we call interstate succession i think you did mention that yeah, um, yeah. that it happens that way so interstate succession will actually take over but guys, it's very important that we draft our wills because Zinis does and Zekayo, like people yes. fight over Imali. Mm. will, it's the worst thing that you can yeah, do when Tosha yeah. because yes. everyone wants to have access to assets. We assets so so we do. Do. You exactly. understand? Yeah, that's how it is. And also like um you'll be doing your 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 family not only yourself but your family mm. a favor by mm. having a will and then also the executor um will be able to wind up the estate um with you know what is what is an exec what is, what is an executor okay so mm. it is a person that is appointed um by the master of the high court to wind up the estate of the deceased so okay. it's a person um, that will act on, on behalf, behalf. Yeah, on the behalf oh, of the deceased. Okay. Yes. Can a can a beneficiary be an executor? 
a beneficiary can be an executor, yes, okay. it can be. But um, obviously the will will have a provision that um, this person must be, or is, is, is the nominated is, executor okay. to wind up my estate. And then the master of the high court will then, you know, make it formal by mm -hmm. issuing mm -hmm. a letter of executorship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that so, letter of executorship then allows, gives that person authority to mm -hmm. act on behalf of the deceased person. Okay. Yeah. How long does it take for e the estate to be administered mm. even when you have a, like yeah. is it something that because you know most back at home like tina's yeah, yeah. like yeah, it yeah. takes us let's say okay my sister to prepare um thursday so mm. shall mm. weekend then the next weekend do you think that it's that quick in the mamba estate i just <laughs> no, uh, no, it, 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 it's not a quick process because remember, um, there's also those, um, the, 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 those periods in terms of the law, mm -hmm. Administration of Deceased Estates Act, um, where you have to advertise the death of the person okay. and then you have the creditors to, need to you know, know yeah, that the person correct, is not there anymore. Yeah. Okay. And then also your liquidation and distribution mm. account. That but, too. So sorry to catch you before I even mm. forget this. How is an how is an estate advertised to the creditors in mm. the event that the person is no more? Because I've heard that even when you want to change your marriage, you need it needs to be you need to add like you need to inform your creditors. How do you inform your creditors about the death of a person? Like okay. what? What do you need to do? You advertise the. Like, do you go to the newspaper? Yeah. Or, oh, okay. Um, local yeah. newspaper and also the government gazette. So there are two adverts. Oh, local okay. newspaper and also the government gazette. Oh, okay. To yeah. say that this person is no more. If yeah. there are any creditors, they need to call the executor and then the contact details of the executor oh, should okay. also be there. Yeah. So it runs for thirty days. For that 30 days. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then also the liquidation and distribution account, that is now the list of all the assets, the mm -hmm. liabilities, mm -hmm. how the estate must be distributed. Mm -hmm. That account must also lie for inspection um, mm -hmm. at the master's office. Mm -hmm. That too must be advertised mm -hmm. for a period of 21 mm -hmm. days. Yeah. Oh, okay. Local newspaper, government gazette. Okay. Yeah. So it's not something that will actually happen over. Two weeks. Yeah. That, oh, okay, no. So, so, so in day, my days, I guess, because, pool, my wins and buy some fees. Remember, also, you also you have to wait for that letter of executorship mm, mm, okay. to be issued by the master of the high court. Okay. You know, which okay. takes time. It takes time. Mm. There are delays. So, since you're now mm. talking about an executor, yeah. that is someone who has been nominated in terms of the will to administer the estate. So let's say now I was nominated in my ex-husband's will to actually be an executor. Mm, mm, mm. Can I actually decline that and say I don't want to be part of that? Oh, or is, okay. is it an obligation that mm. because this person wanted you to administer this estate in the yeah. event that he's no more, because now Surely, don't you see what you're gonna say? Like, yeah. so do I you have can, can I say no? Yeah, you can okay. renounce, yeah, you can renounce, and then someone else can be nominated as the executor. So, so we mm -hmm. renounce means no, you say you don't no, want you to, don't want or to be the <laughs> yeah, so yeah, <laughs> okay, so. Who who then ha who then can nominate another executor? Is it must of the high court or can a family actually decide? You know what, this person can yeah. actually the the beneficiaries in the estate they oh, all have to be yeah, nominate to the person. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay. And then, like I said, the master of the high court makes it official or formal by issuing okay. a letter of executorship, okay. giving that executor authority to mm -hmm. act. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, I think this now comes to the end of our video. Yeah. Is there anything else that you would like to add, maybe, or you'd mm -hmm. like to share, mm -hmm. maybe experience with a draft, like with administering the estate? Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you want to just share mm -hmm. or add? Um, well, I think we've covered um, everything. Um, but again, draft your world. That's what I want to, mm -hmm. you know, people to do. Draft your will. Um, I mean, there are also instances where 
um, people they like, no, I don't want to drop my will. Um, is it those answers? Oh, yeah, but I'm going you know. Mm. We have that mentality, Morsi, as mm. you know. Mm. Um, but it, it's better to actually have a will so that isn't those that you want to be, to be beneficiaries or the is. Mm. Sorry to cut mm. you, man. There is something that I've, since you're now talking about abandon abam, mm. I was having a conversation with this other lady this other day. And we were talking about um, children who are married in community of property. Yeah. So let's say Ulise Duwam, she now gets, okay, I leave the estate for Ulise Yeah. And um, she now gets married. Can I leave a clause in my will where I say, in the event that I'm no more and mm. Ulise inherits from my will, if she is married in community of property, that assets must not yes form those part. assets should not yeah. form part yeah. of the estate that is correct is, it, yeah. is, is yeah. that possible yes it's all okay it all has to do with that clause of protecting of the assets the assets yeah. okay correct okay yeah. no problem also you know i don't know whether you will know this but i once heard of a a, a at e e store the esteban is a name we are sending me drink mm -hmm. do you know that case what tell me more? I, I'm not sure if this is how it works, but I once heard that they I, I never read the case, but um apparently there was a house in Midrand where um Yaishi where for example. Yeah, yeah. Where now why Lenu is the inga renovate. Is the inga kungenzwa mix kuyo like inga ten yeswa. Mm -hmm. And then what happened is that um, I think there was a ruling by the court that that type of provision is invalid because it actually limits something like that. Mm -hmm. But it's okay if you don't mm -hmm. but it's okay. It's that okay. case, ne? Yeah, okay. so like is there like... Because also you can have, I'm just thinking now, um, e provision that states when I, um um, after all the assets have been sold, he, then the cash must be distributed to the children. So mm -hmm. yeah, you do you do get e e e e clause where um, the deceased person actually tells the executor how the executor must deal with such assets like selling okay selling easy mm. or in through mm. many more do, and mm. then once once the executor has sold the cars and the houses then that cash must be distributed amongst the, amongst the beneficiaries can yeah. a be, can a beneficiary renounce e like we are going to do that in yeah yeah you so can. so they can renounce so what happens when a beneficiary rena renounces e e inheritance, inheritance yeah, yeah. yeah then it's a now a different would, yeah it's now a different okay. um process but you can you say, can actually repudiate say, yeah repudiate yeah, yeah you can repudiate, repudiate yeah okay. just to but say okay you want no. to inherit mm. and then there's just um another process then the executor has to follow because mm. also the master of the high court must be made um, oh, aware okay. of okay. this okay. yeah okay but um, I think now we have come to the end of the video before we can even like say things that are not part mm. of drafting your will because the only thing that we wanted to do was to actually <laughs> yeah. like give people information with regards to drafting your will. Well. Yes, but I think now this is this this has come to the end. Yeah. Um so what you can do it is to if you want to know more with regards to drafting the will, I would advise that you actually check um on the on online you can like with yeah. regards to what firms will be participate participating mm -hmm. you can actually check um the law society mm -hmm. so you'll actually see the list of law firms that will that we that will be participating yeah, this correct. week uh with regards to drafting wills for free for free yeah. yes and if there's anything that you would like to know from my side or from yolanda's side mm -hmm. you can always drop me a, a dm on instagram I am underscore at Zimasa. 
Zimasa Ngoliwe on Facebook. You can actually search me. I don't have Twitter, actually. Yeah. So, yes, thank you so much, Yolanda, for joining thank us. Thank you. Is there any other social networks where people can... I'm sure you're not active. <laughs> 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 but thank you so much for joining us. Right. I really, I really okay. do appreciate this right. and your time, your effort mm -hmm. coming here to educate us on my small growing YouTube channel. Yes. Being there, yes. thank you so much. It will go you. far. I have faith in you. I thank do. you. Thank you so much, Yolanda. I really thank do appreciate you. it. All right. Thank you.